Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Last time, we went around watery, uh, basic, whatever got uh, exposed from the flood that we, um, you know, we got rid of the flood after taking care of the uh, the overlap, uh, Mulligan and Thornton. The flood receded, and we got to find some extra cult stashes, a couple of extra rhymes, that kind of thing. So I uh, we're pretty much done in Watery for now, and we're going to switch back to Alan and see what he's been up to this whole time. Presence had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript, Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar, important. I had to find it. I would write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. As far as we know, she's out anyway. Well, we're back here. Welcome, welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wake. This time he wanted to do something. I was back, and I hadn't forgotten. I know how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. What demons he wrestles with in the dark hours of the night. Together with our house band, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something very special. The song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. <laughs> Look at Sam Lake. Do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. I was like, yeah, yeah uh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. could not be opened on the side. Oh my god. We have flashbangs. Uh, not many bullets. A lot of health, though. Uh, maybe I'll move this over. So what I will do, I think I had this quick slot up. Quick slot. Actually, this makes more sense. Quick slot down, yeah. Um... You know, I don't think we'll click slot that. I don't think we need to. It was locked from the other side. Okay, let's let's see what this is. From 
what I've gathered. You grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up feel. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. That's really funny. Oh god, that's creepy. That is 100% Poets of the Fall. That's the main singer.
chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away.
Jesus Christ. This is fucking amazing. I had zero idea about this, and I'm so glad I didn't ruin it for myself. This is fucking brilliant. I haven't said a fuck. What can you say? This is so... It's amazing, man. It's so good. It is so fucking good.
That was pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I need a cigarette. <laughs> that was pretty fucking good. That was... That's even selling it short. That was fucking incredible. I've never encountered anything like that before. Like, this is clearly the showpiece of this game. So far, anyway. Um, and again, I am surprised that I haven't had this ruined for me thus far. This is incredible. Like, I don't know whose idea it was to put this in the game, like this level, but fucking chef's kiss, man. All the fucking chef's kiss. I wasn't expecting combat until I picked up the gun, the, the flare gun. But still, man. Jesus. A vision. Oh. There's more. Such a dark place am I trapped in here. Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript that held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again Until I figure it out To bring this song to its end You know what, if nothing else, it just goes to show that the Dark Place has a fucking sense of humor. brings a song to its climactic end. Let's fucking do it, bro. Cutscene.
and I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. Fucking brilliant, man. I'm saddened that I, I I fear that that was like the highlight of the game and I'm saddened that I've experienced it and I will not be able to experience it for the first time again. Oh my God. Ati, you beautiful, beautiful man. Oh, he's over there. Champion of life. Catchy, right? Herald of darkness. Lost in the Hi, <laughs> Swedish brothers, Bergel. I at the little uncle, I oh. Light the boy at Yenka Connet, so him. Atana. I don't think Carpet should be making those kind of sounds, but whatever, man. I was half expecting the Champion of Light music would play here, but no. Yeah, I think I'm going to stop it there. I think it's a good stopping point. <laughs> Fuck me, man. This is uh, this is definitely definitely an episode I'll, I'll rewatch. I'm, I really hope that um, there is actually like a full song version of that, like something you can listen on Spotify or something. Because it was, it was a pretty good song. I, I can't, I got this fucking smile on my face, man. I can't get rid of it. It's, um, again, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I don't know how it's going to be topped. I, I don't think you can top that. What the hell was that? Weird. Anyways, guys, sorry. I'm just gushing over this fucking thing. Um, not much was really uh, explored. I mean, we we kind of like got a recap kind of of uh, everything that's been going on so far, uh, especially with Alan's life. Um, but in terms of actual story, nothing really happened. It's just a nice little break of pace. Um which which is very welcome especially after the the lot of serious stuff we've gone through with saga it's nice to have a little break of pace so that'll do it for this episode we'll probably get back into alan's story proper um in the next one unless there's more singing i don't think there is because we we finished a song but who knows what'll happen Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you really enjoyed this episode. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.